more interested in sharks because they're one of the last great mysteries. They're powerful and stealthy and beautiful and elegant. And all of those things combined just make them fascinating. When you take it to the video game realm, you know, the thought of being able to experience that as a player is pretty compelling. Bayonetta is an open world RPG. We like to coin it a shark PG. A lot of games, it's usually you get the suspense from being the human and experiencing what are your fears as a person. Well, now you are the shark and you get to be the driving force of that fear amongst humans. And I think that's a really unique perspective. I think it's really fun to play something in real life you're actually really scared of. We ran into Main Eater VR relationship with Alex Quick. Alex was the mod developer of the original Killing Floor game. Playing as a shark in an open world is, is ridiculously ambitious. I tried to get it as far along as I could on my own, but I hit a roadblock where I needed some more manpower and, and help with it. We played the game and said, wow, this is such a cool and unique concept. You know, how many open world shark action RPGs are there? Zero. <laughs> So we decided to approach Alex and see if Blindside would be interested in having Tripwire do what we did with Killing Floor and take it to the next level and make something really groundbreaking out of it. We announced the game at the PC Gamer show at E3 and being on stage, seeing the, the reaction from the crowd, the level of hype like we had never seen before for any game announcement we've ever done. It's not a normal shark. This shark has the ability to evolve. You're getting big, you're getting powerful, you're an awesome shark, but also you're getting evolutions, so enhancements for your teeth and how you move throughout the map and make you faster and stronger and better. The shark can leap out of the water, you know, considerably higher than a normal shark can. It can swim faster than a normal shark, but it's still a shark. If you as the player want to play it, is the more stealth style shark and really spend more of your time cleaning up the other predators in the ocean. Some of the objectives do really lend themselves though to wreaking havoc. It's a huge power trip of playing an apex predator and being able to just have fun and wreak havoc in this like crazy world set in the Gulf Coast. We have some really cool ideas about where this could go next. I hope the game really establishes a new genre and we can continue to take it to even bigger and better places. Man Eater is an open world action RPG where you play as a shark, or as we call it, a shark PG. A and shark this is puns for you guys. Yes. Yeah, we're actually Look. trying to be as annoying as possible with our shark puns. Hey, it'll bring the point home. It's fantastic. And Allow something it. that you guys clarified <laughs> for me, this is a bull shark. This is a bull shark, although it's a very special bull shark. Tell us about him. Yeah, so you, 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 you start out as a bull shark, uh -huh. but through eating and consuming nutrients, you evolve past what nature has intended. Okay, so you're telling me that there's some progression in this game. What's the, uh, the progression like? Absolutely, so uh, everything that you consume will make you grow. And there's four different types of nutrients, protein, fat, minerals, and a real rare one, Mutagen X. And that's really crucial to actually let you evolve past what nature's intended. And we have five different life stages. So you start out as a little baby, oh, then baby. you grow up as a moody teen, then an adult, an elder, and then finally mega size, which you're a god. humongous. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, god shark. Yep. Uh, but you're talking about an open world here, so does that mean that I'll be able to revisit? Am I am I moving linearly through the world, or can I become my jumbo shark and then come back to my original little spawning pool and show everybody what's up? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you you can backtrack. You'll actually through your adventures will find some apex predators that are way too big to actually fight. I mean, you can try to fight it but you'll want to actually go back. So the world starts out um, you know, teaching you what to do, and then as you grow, it opens up to the whole, the whole world. And as you progress, uh, you become a bigger shark, you might be able to break through things that you couldn't before. So there's okay. that aspect of coming back and saying, hey, this place I couldn't get through before, now I can, because I can knock that wall down. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't see a lot of shark-based games on the market. <laughs> I want to know, uh, you know, what was the inspiration? What does a shark-based action RPG allow you to do that you don't get to see in other RPGs? Hmm. 
Well, it's it's actually it's very very challenging to come up with this because generally in a game, you know, you got characters and they have arms and they have they have hands and they tend this to, yeah, does not so unnecessary. We we're trying to think of creative ways where we can add more elements to gameplay than just go bitey bitey eat something. So you can clamp onto things, you can thrash them. Uh, we also have a thing called whip shot. So anything you put in your mouth, if you're big enough. You can redirect it like a projectile, like a projectile weapon at something. This sounds awesome. <laughs> so like, and each different type of animal that you put into your mouth and you throw has different attributes. So for instance, say I grab a swordfish and I whip shot that, it's like a sniper rifle. But if I was to whip shot like a turtle, you know, it's gonna spin or a big log would like spin and knock a bunch of things down or exploding barrels. So. Think of an analogy like in a first person shooter when you pick up a shotgun or an assault sure, rifle. Yeah. These are things you put in your mouth and throw back out. And is there gonna be some play here? Am I gonna, you know, kind of get halfway through the game and then realize like I could have been chucking clams the whole time? Like Well now you know so oh, now I know. Pro tip, you guys are the